Hi everyone and welcome back to the monthly economic update in a brand new year 2020 and uh, let's review January as it happened. Towards the end of the month we did see uh, the central bank reducing the policy rates uh, which is the deposit rate and the lending rate by another 0.5% uh, signaling that they uh, would like interest rates to go much lower and to get credit growth as well as overall GDP growth uh, back on track. Uh, now this is in the backdrop of uh, GDP growth being very weak. So it was about 2.6% in the first uh, nine months of uh, 2019. The uh, expectation is for it to be over 2.9%. But overall, it's been about three, four years of subpar growth under 4%, uh, which has not really uh, helped in, in helped in, in propelling the economy forward. The World Bank as well. Uh, having reviewed Sri Lanka's economic performance and looking at 2020 have put uh, growth at around 3.3 um, to 3.5 percent but still when you look at it from regional perspective Sri Lanka is the third slowest growing country in the region so uh, the growth dynamics a key part of what we were discussing and talking about in the last uh, six to eight months still continues into uh, this year as well if you look at it, uh, you look at some of the other developments, in particular on the trade side of it, uh, there was some positive news with both the US-China uh, trade war sort of now going to more of a true situation. Um, a phase one deal was signed where both sides committed to improve its trade relationship, uh, which now has sort of eased the tension. And the expectation is that at least this will hold in the first half. Uh, but it's uncertain with US elections coming towards the end of 2020. The other piece of good news for trade and especially growth has been uh, the fact that uh, the UK post-elections has sort of now a roadmap towards the Brexit uh, outcome. Uh, the deal on the other hand is still uncertain and I think that's where sort of the next few weeks and months will sort of uh, move on that direction. From a Sri Lankan exporter point of view, uh, still, even though Brexit has happened and the UK has left, um, the GSP plus sort of conditions still continue uh, for a transitory period and steps after that will um, be notified uh, by, uh, by, by the UK government. Um, so in terms of the trade side, it seems a bit better and that's sort of propelling even overall GDP growth to sort of moderate, stabilize, not decline further and that's, that's a good sign heading into uh, the first half of this year. So stay tuned to economy.lk as we review uh, the latest developments both on the local front and the global front.